Hey guys, welcome back to the Food Monologue Studios. Today we will be checking out the soft dilwari. Portion size is specified will make about 25 to 30 dilwaris or squares. So let us start without further ado. Dry roast 3 fourth cup of ground nuts till their skins separate. You may use them along with their skins or remove the skins. Also dry roast 1 cup of sesame seeds or dill for 4 to 5 minutes till they start spluttering. Roast them for about 4 to 5 minutes. Then keep aside and allow to cool along with the groundnuts. When the sesame seeds have cooled down, add them to a mixer jar and grind them into a coarse mixture. Similarly, add the cooled and roasted groundnuts to the mixer and again grind them into a coarse mixture. Now add the two powders together and mix properly. Dry roast 1 fourth cup of desiccated coconut for 2 to 3 minutes until it turns pink or golden brown. And add to the mixture. Now, in the same pan, add one and a half tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter, and allow it to melt. Once the butter melts, add one cup of grated jaggery or the regular jaggery powder that we get in stores. When the jaggery starts melting, add two tablespoons of water to the mixture, since we want the jaggery to be soft when it cools down. Now, allow the jaggery to completely melt. Once it is completely melted and boiling like this, add the mixture of peanuts and sesame seeds and start mixing together. Keep the gas flame very low. Add the dry mix into batches. Mix such that all the ingredients get incorporated. Now add 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder or elaichi powder. Freshly grate some nutmeg, about 1 teaspoon and add to the mixture. Now add the remaining half tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter to this mixture. This will give a nice shine to the wedges or the squares. Now grease two dishes of 8 inch in diameter. Equally divide and pour the hot mix onto these two dishes. Flatten or level off with underside of a steel bowl or with a spatula. Now decorate with some roasted sesame seeds and some roasted desiccated coconut. Flatten it out again with a spatula and allow it to set for 8 to 10 minutes. Cut and shape into squares when the mixture is still warm and the jaggery has yet to set. And your easy and delicious dilwadi is ready to eat. Let us take a recap. The ingredients for the recipe are displayed here. A complete list of written, downloadable and printable instructions are mentioned in our blog at www.thefoodmonologues.com. Do visit our site for more interesting and delicious recipes. A link is mentioned in the description below. If you like this recipe, share with friends and family and give the video a like. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Food Monologues channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.